I met Tyler in the fifth grade, and I quickly came to realize that whatever he did, he was really good at it. Um, whatever he did, he tried really hard, and, and in, in every area of his life, he uh, pursued excellence. For any of you that know Lisa, you know that she's one of the happiest, most joyful people you'll ever meet. She lights up your day instantly when you see her. Lisa, you are so smart, athletic, beautiful, kind, disciplined, and encouraging. I, Lisa, take you, Tyler, to be my husband and companion, my closest friend. I vow to encourage you, trust you, and respect you. I, Tyler, choose you, Lisa, to be my best friend, my faithful partner, my one true love, and my beautiful wife. I promise to unconditionally love you and fiercely fight for you in the good times and the bad, now and forevermore. I think from the moment you were born, you stole my heart. Oh my God. I remember hanging blue streamers with Nyoma and a banner that said it's a boy. I was so excited for you to come home from the hospital. I think that was my first memory of my entire life. You're the cutest little boy with your bleached blonde, fuzzy hair and larger sized head. <laughs> We've come together in the presence of God to celebrate the uniting of Tyler and Lisa. We're thankful for Tyler, bringing Tyler into Lisa's life. Uh, he's definitely a, a man of God and, and somebody that's perfect for Lisa, and they're perfect for each other. So we're very, very, very thankful for that. So. We are so thankful and excited to have a new brother in our family. Tyler, you compliment Lisa so well. We've said that since the beginning. Um, we give you a lot of credit for being able to handle the special things about Lisa. <laughs> Lisa, when I first saw a picture of you in Costa Rica, I was drawn to you. You just make people around you smile. Your sweet spirit, your faithfulness, your openness, your goofiness. If I had to sum up my brother in one word, one of his own words, it would be boss. Tyler, ever since I had the pleasure of marrying your sister, you know, you really became my little brother which is something that I always wanted, being the baby of the family, it made me feel cool. And I'll never forget the, I'll never forget that time that uh, I jumped over that fence when you were like, whoa. And I was like, yes, Tyler likes me. He's been a huge role model to me over the years, and I really respect him, he's a great man. Um, and Lisa, you're really lucky to have him. Um, just remember that he will be there for you every day. He'll never give up on you. Growing up, I would constantly brag to my friends about Lisa. I was quick to point out how she was nominated for Best Physique and Best Personality in her high school class. <laughs> and today, as we stand here and we celebrate and um, we look forward to the future of you guys, um, I now have a new standard new standard of what a, a godly marriage is going to play.
I promise to remain by your side in times of sickness and in health. I will always be here for you, to laugh with you and comfort you, to share in your dreams and support you unceasingly. I will pursue you wholeheartedly and do all that I can to let you know how much you are loved every single day. But ultimately, I will strive to help encourage you in your faith and deepen your relationship with the Lord. You are the greatest gift that I could have ever received from God, and I know that together we will accomplish more for God's glory than we could ever do alone. pledge to never forget that this is a God-inspired, once-in-a-lifetime kind of love that is unaffected by finances, health, distance, or time. This is the start to a new adventure, and I vow that no matter what challenges might try and carry us apart on this marriage journey, I will never stop pursuing you and will constantly protect the love that we share. In all things, I vow to keep God at the heart of our relationship because it is He that blesses us and carries us through all of life's experiences. I will joyfully celebrate with you in times of happiness and I will fight for us through the challenging times. I promise to always care for you, stand beside you, and share in all of life's joys and adventures. For every story we tell, I want to tell it with you. For every hardship we endure, I want to endure it with you. For every memory we make, I want to celebrate it with you. For every moment I live, I want to live it with you by my side. Lisa, you are my best friend and my eternal love, and I dedicate my life to loving and serving you with all that I am. I love you, Lisa. God himself said it is not good for the man to be alone, and he created Eve to meet that need. And in Hebrew, she's referred to as his helpmate, his compliment. She's definitely your compliment. <laughs> you may kiss your bride. <laughs>